One of the things I worked on is I realized early on that Locke was so much better educated than I was. And so I had to actually educate myself in these various areas that he had mastered. And so, for example, during the 1980s, I spent some time at the Smithsonian and I curated a number of exhibitions, one on Vino Rice, another one later in the 90s on Paul Robeson, because I wanted to understand why he used exhibitions as a medium to communicate these ideas. And so that was one of the practice kind of things that I did. I also uh, worked with artists. I've, so I've kind of got into the idea of what does it mean for an, an older academic to work with younger artists and what are the challenges that they are, are struggling with. Um, and then later, in the 2000, when I'm basically out in California, uh, California passed the Fair Education Act, which is uh, uh, basically a fair, accurate, inclusive, and respectful education act in 2011, signed by Jerry Brown, to introduce into the K-12 through curriculum um, the kind of education, history, contributions of people with disabilities and people who are LGBTQ. And so what I did is I started a nonprofit to actually work with teachers to try and develop lesson plans. And that was kind of a reflection off of my work on Locke because he is really an intersectional figure uh, who was black, who was gay. And so I was trying to sort of find a way to bring that information also uh, uh, to the school. And just like with Locke, I learned a lot from doing that. And I learned a lot with working with teachers, working with students who are, are grappling with these issues. And I think that helped me in the writing process.